In early 1982, the film director Tony Scott took me on as musical director for a feature film called The Hunger, a stylish contemporary rethink of Dracula, starring David Bowie, Catherine Deneuve and Susan Sarandon. He had the interesting idea of constructing most of the score from classical music, but it had to be very carefully chosen to fit each scene and I was given the job of finding it, which was a lot of fun. I started to go to his house in Wimbledon, often at 8am, with caseloads of recordings to play to him. Together we chose excerpts, and I would then re-record them with the finest musicians. Between them, Howard Shelley, Ralph Holmes and Raphael Valfish played excerpts from Schubert's E-flat trio, Bach's solo cello partita in G, some Ravel, Le Gibet, and some Lalo. Tony wanted music for a strange erotic scene played between Deneuve and Sarandon, set in an Indian temple. The script suggested the soprano duettino from Lacme called Viens au Malika, and I found an old 50s recording of it. Tony liked it, but didn't like the wobbly sopranos on it. I suggested we could use two early music sopranos, Elaine Barry and Judith Pierce from London Voices, whom I conducted several days later, singing magnificently with the Symphonia of London. On the same recording session, I improvised a piano version of the song, and in the film we see Deneuve apparently playing it until sopranos and orchestra take over, cross-fading into the next scene. Tony loved this, and two years later he rang me again. I've shot a commercial for British Airways with the shadow of a 747 going up the Empire State Building. Do you think you could get that opera piece we did to fit it? I'll have a look at it, I said. I arranged the special version and recorded with the same girls for a second time. British Airways loved it and decided to use it as their global signature tune, something that still happens 24 years later and quite possibly makes this theme the most long-running piece of ad music in history. The incessant airplays of it at the same time caused it to be an all-time operatic hit which sopranos all frequently perform and record. Tony used it again incessantly repeated in True Romance and Brian De Palma used it in Carlito's Way. This is what the piece sounded like. 